Journalist Stephen Peake, the day he became a sports fanatic, he has an answer. March 24th, 1990, a.k.a. the day he was born. He says sports have shaped his family and all of their get-togethers his entire life. And he's had to get very creative this year and look to other continents to still have that outlet during the pandemic. Now, Stephen says he recognizes that some things are bigger than sports and a global pandemic is definitely one of those things. So he was understanding, but also very disappointed when he was on the road in March and learned just how much things were about to change. We were getting ready to go down to Nashville to cover the SEC tournament, something I'd been looking for. I'd never been to an SEC tournament before. I was super pumped for it, and it all became very real. And the tournament started getting canceled, and the game started getting canceled. Like, I didn't realize, I guess, how much of my life, how much of my happiness came from just watching other people succeed or fail. It's a really <laughs> silly thing. So I know that you tried to reintroduce sports into your life before we saw teams actually play in America. So tell me what you're holding in your hand and how you discovered that sport. Yeah, so uh, the only sport that was going on for a little bit was Australian rules football. I had no idea what it was. <laughs> uh, I, I turned it on and it is the silliest sport I've ever seen. Oh, I'm sure it's been on TV in the States before, um, but of course with nothing else going on, it was on a lot of sports channels. They were looking to fill programming somehow. And uh, the, the way the game is played is you can, you can kick the ball, this ball right here, which is sort of like a rugby ball, but also has the laces. So it's sort of like an American football. You have to punch it like this. You have to punch it to your teammates, or you can kick it. And if you kick it and your teammate catches it, then everybody on the team, other team has to like back away like like 10 yards and the final scores because like yeah you have to back up like 10 yards let the guy kick it the final scores are like 130 to like 126. i was kind of like watch like kind of like hate watching it a little bit i was like this is the how do you like this, this is the silliest sport and then um then i found myself like a week later like gambling on the games and really getting into them and i'm laughing at it the whole time but i'm like i'm actually into this do you have a team that you pull for i yes i do um the brisbane lions they they're a team that formed in like 1996. I know way too much about this. To, <laughs> I, that I'm a little bit embarrassed by how much I know about Australian rules football right now. What value did you recognize in sports after you lost them for that time period in your life? How much it brings people together. For my family, that is the reason we all get together. The reason I would go to my grandfather's house is to watch Kentucky games. The reason I go to my dad's is to watch the Cubs or watch Kentucky. I've always found sports to be this middle ground, this unifier that you go to Kentucky football games and you're slapping high fives as an Obama supporter with a Trump supporter. And I've always found that interesting that we wear just the same logo as another person. And we, we love that other person. Like we like them because they wear the same logos that we wear. I'm happy that sports are returning because I do feel like we kind of need a little bit of, of that. 